What's going on YouTube? Rob here. I just ordered a 2015 MacBook Pro uh, 15 inch, which is arguably one of the most versatile MacBook Pros you can get today. I decided to look around and see what used options there are. And I came across the Amazon Renewed uh, program, which I'd never heard of before. It is to shop refurbished, pre-owned and open box products that have been inspected and tested by qualified suppliers to work and look like new and come with an Amazon Renewed Guarantee. This one is the more sought after dual graphics uh, version of the 2015 15 inch Retina. If you wanna check out this exact listing, the one I purchased, and I haven't even opened this yet, so we'll see how it is together. Um, I'm gonna put that link in the description below, so make sure you check that out. I'm upgrading from a 2013, which has 128 gigs and only eight gigs of RAM and a dual core i5, so it's, it is gonna be a step up for myself. So let's see. Okay. So here it is. It's an interesting open box. I guess I opened it up upside down. Um, we have some bubble wrap on top and a charger here. This looks like an OEM charger. We get here, oh, by the way, the seller is CTS Warehouse and they seem to have some pretty good ratings and all the information here seems to match up and they do their own refurbishing. Okay, now interesting. On there it said 512, the one I ordered said 512 gigs. This one says one terabyte. Wow, oh, uh, part of the Amazon Renewed program, they say that it looks like new from 12 inches away, so, if we're looking, that feels a little weird. If we're looking from 12 inches away, do you really notice anything? This might be a vinyl skin. Yes, this is a vinyl skin. That's why it looks a little weird on the edge. Huh, so maybe they're hiding something. Maybe they're hiding scuffs and trying to play it off. Okay, let's take a quick look around the ports. Okay, so over here, it's a little dinged up. There's a bunch of scuffs on this side. And the ports look pretty good though. Ports look pretty good. There's a couple of scuffs around this back corner. And it's a little janky in this port here. That's the charger port. A little bit of bruising in that area. So it's not the cleanest cleanest. Let's flip it upside down. Okay, so here we can easily see that they put a skin over this. So this is a vinyl skin. So chances are it's not in the greatest of conditions. Let us open this up and see. Now under here is actually pretty good. It actually is really nice. Let me flip this over oh, so you can see it here. There's a little bit of, I think that's dirt. Yeah, yeah, this is just dirt. It's actually really clean under here. Maybe we'll be lucky and under that vinyl skin, it actually is clean. <laughs> the screen looks pretty good when it's off. Okay, that's a good start. So I'll just go through the setup process. Okay, so what are we on here? 2.8 gigahertz Core i7, 16 gigs RAM. So I'm going to run some diagnostics on this, but first, I'm going to take the vinyl off. Now that it's fully off, we get to have a better look at it. There's a couple of little marks right around the edge, which isn't you know a big deal. That isn't too noticeable. Same thing around here. Um, if we look at the back of it, there is a pretty significant little cut right here in the th in the uh, metal so you can see that in the corner there is a nick over here and then it's hard probably hard to capture this on camera here but there is a line that goes through uh, this portion of the lid and then right here so you could see there are, are a lot of abrasions 
in this area. I don't know what Amazon may have been thinking when they said that they also certify these um, from their professional team because they would have known there was vinyl on it and they would have seen this. So this is not, this is something noticeable from more than 12 inches away. A few of these tiny ones you could deal with. This one it's lifting up a bit so it was really a nice little chunk that came out. Um, but all in all it's not terrible condition. This whole area feels nice. I'm going to go through each key. The surface is very good. Um, I'm actually really impressed. I thought this area was going to be worse. Uh, now what we have to do is flip it over. And I'm dreading this one a bit. Uh, take the vinyl off this section. Vinyl. At least it was a good quality vinyl. It was nice and thick. All right, so taking a look at the bottom here, there's a, a couple of abrasions on this corner. There's a few light ones in the middle, a couple of hairlines that you don't really see, a couple of scratches here. Um, is that one? A, a little ding over here and a couple more in this corner. That actually looks pretty decent and that's something that I think anybody can live with. That is perfectly acceptable. The HDMI, the USB, and the SD card reader look really good. Um, on the other hand, the other side looks a little dirty on those ports and there's a lot of wear near the uh, MagSafe connector. There's actually a lot of wear in there. It looks like there's a little bit metal chopped around it. Right now it says that the battery health is 81%, which I think is pretty good. 782 cycles. So now we're going through the standard diagnostics test uh, that's built in to Mac OS. Power adapter was not tested, of course. There may be an issue with power adapter. So that's all good. So the speeds are still pretty good. Here are the takeaways. It's not in perfect condition. It's not like new condition either. We were a little bit misled because there was vinyl on the top and the bottom of this machine, which there should not have been. Um, yeah, it has some bumps and bruises, but as long as everything works out, I will be happy. I'm gonna test it over the next few days to make sure that there is actually nothing wrong with it uh, before I go ahead and trade in my Mac. Um, but if you found this helpful and you wanna know where to find the link for this exact computer or for the listing that this computer came from, I'll put that in the description below and I'll talk to you on the next one.